Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Kalyan Bomakanti. I'm a spine surgeon and neurosurgeon. As a part of our education on spinal surgery series, this week we'll be speaking about cervical laminectomy. This, in this particular video, we will get a brief overview regarding cervical laminectomy. In the next videos, we will go into the details of cervical laminectomy. So if every one of your, if any one of your friends or relatives are suffering from a cervical spine condition and they're contemplating a surgery, do share this video with them. So what is cervical laminectomy? It is a, it is a surgical solution for cervical spine conditions. So cervical, before I go into cervical laminectomy, try to understand this picture. Here we are looking at your spine. This is a picture from behind. So the spinal cord is enclosed in a, in a bony column, which is known as a vertebral column. And the lamina is a part of the vertebral column, which is on the back side of your neck. So cervical laminectomy surgical procedure performed to relieve pressure on the spinal cord and nerves in the neck by removing the spinal lamina. When you remove the spinal lamina, there is more space available for spinal cord and the nerves. And so all these functions which have been impaired because of lack of avail availability of space, they improve after the surgery. So what are the conditions that can be treated with cervical laminectomy? The spinal stenosis, the herniated disc, the bony spurs, the tumors, many tumors, and the infections. So see this picture. The first picture is a spinal stenosis. What is spinal stenosis? What is stenosis? Stenosis is when there's crumpling of space, when there's a decrease in space. So in cervical spinal stenosis, cervical is neck, and spinal is spinal cord, stenosis a decrease in space. So the spinal cord and the spinal nerves are decrease in space, they are compressed. Because of compression, the neural signals from the brain, they are blocked at the level of the compression and they don't reach the lower part of your body. That is, they don't reach your hands, they don't reach your trunk and they don't reach your legs. And what is a cervical cord tumor? Cervical cord tumor is a tumor within the cervical part of your spinal cord. That is the spinal cord within your neck. So laminectomy is also you. So if there is a tumor within your spinal cord, to remove that tumor, we, we need to reach the tumor. To reach that tumor, we'll have to remove the bone which is coming in your path. So removing that part of the bone is known as cervical laminectomy. And Often, and so the cervical laminectomy provides an access for you to reach the tumor to remove them. Third picture which you are seeing is cervical herniated disc and the bony spurs. These things and herniated disc comes out into the spinal canal, compresses the spinal cord and the spinal nerves causing secondary spinal canal stenosis and all the symptoms like the neck pain, pain, irradiating pain in the neck, weakness, paralysis, numbness, paresthesias, burning sensation, all the other things. So what are the benefits of cervical laminectomy? Main thing, the first thing is relief from symptoms. You are relieved of all the symptoms which is spinal stenosis was causing. That is, will be relieved significantly of the neck pain, the arm pain and the leg pain, the numbness, the weakness, and the paralysis. But this takes time depending on the your preoperative symptoms. Suppose your preoperative symptoms and the damage to the spinal cord is minimal, you are going to recover that within three, three weeks. Suppose they are severe, they may take a longer time. What is the second advantage, second benefit? It increases the movement cap capability and the functionality of the cervical laminectomy. Third one, 
cervical laminectomy can significantly reduce the risk of further complications associated with spinal cord compression and nerve root compression, leading to an improved outcomes and higher chances of successful recovery. So, cervical laminectomy is a surgical procedure that can effectively treat various conditions in the cervical spine, providing relief from symptoms, improving mobility, and reducing the risk of further complications. So, in the further videos, we'll be discussing about other. We'll be discussing about other. Uh, we will be discussing in detail the in the cervical laminectomy, the advantages and disadvantages. If you like this video and if there is anyone who can be benefited by this video, do share this video with them and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you soon.